Hi, uh, good afternoon, everyone. So my name is Yoshinori Matsunobu. So I'm a, a MySQL tech lead at Facebook. So today I'm going to talk about uh, how uh, online backup works with MyLogs and LogsDB. So first of all, let me introduce about MyLogs. So MyLogs is a storage engine of the, uh, on top of LogsDB. So LogsDB is a uh, key value store, the log structured merge based, LSM based key value store, which was forked uh, from a RebelDB. So RebelDB was created by Google, then Facebook forked and uh, branded as a LogsDB uh, for using that in the backend. So MyLogs is a storage engine to embedding uh, with LogsDB. So the purpose is uh, we had a huge amount of InnoDB based uh, MySQL applications, and we wanted to migrate to My, uh, RocksDB without changing applications. So MyRox can replicate from InnoDB, so it uh, can technically easily uh, migrate uh, without writing applications. So that's why we created MyRox, which is open sourced in GitHub, and uh, you can uh, use from a Percona and a MariaDB as well. And the background of the development of MyLox was uh, there are basically three constraints in the application uh, side. So one is the lead performance and light performance and the space. So you cannot optimize everything. So uh, normally we, you choose pick one or two uh, out of the three. So InnoDB and B3 uh, favors pretty much lead uh, at cost of light and space. But on the other hand, the MyLox and the LoxDB and the general LSM databases like H HBase favors space and lights, but the leads are slightly slower than uh, B3 database. So there are trade-offs. So uh, this doesn't mean the InnoDB is uh, inferior uh, this, uh, or MyLox is better than any uh, database. So, uh, this is not true. So there are trade-offs. But at Facebook, so for large-scale databases, running on Flash, then the saving space was very important. On the other hand, the flash, flash was very fast on leads, so uh, lead inefficiency can be mitigated by Flash to some extent. And uh, we had a huge record cache at Facebook, so we can, uh, cache hit rate uh, absorbed the lead request to the database. On the other hand, light inefficiency is it's a bit hard to mitigate because all lights are eventually coming to database. On, uh, other than that, so implementation also matters. So recently, uh, Facebook of, uh, my Facebook colleague uh, published a, a new compression library called GSTD, G standard, which is better than ZLIB for almost all aspects. So it is n new implementations and implementation matters uh, to some. Uh, for certain kind of uh, libraries or databases. So these are the very rough mat matrix about the lead and the space and light trade-offs. So in a way, as a compressed and a compact format, so uh, normal the uncompressed in a way is uh, based on the lead performance. Uh, the compressed in a way is uh, slower on leads but uh, the space is significantly smaller compared to a compact inner AV. And MyLox is even bit, uh, smaller, like a four, X, uh, four times smaller compared to a compact inner AV, or two times smaller compared to a uh, compressed inner AV. And the uh, light efficiency is also better, but lead performance is slightly worse compared to inner AV. And the H base was uh, implementation is a bit uh, inefficient, so it's uh, pretty space was smaller, uh, close to it, MyLox, but the uh, lead and light performance is worse than uh, MyLox. So current state at uh, MyLox at Facebook is so we migrated, so we created MyLox for running on the uh, Facebook. So we have two very large databases. One is uh, called the UDB, which stores a uh, Facebook use as people's activity data, uh, like uh, comments. So uh, that database and the Facebook Messenger so storing a Facebook messaging activities. So these two databases were migrated to MyLox and running in production for uh, more than a year. 
So in order to my uh, purpose was saving space. So this was efficiency wins. And the uh, HBase to my purpose was different. So space was almost the same from, because both are LSM, but the uh, performance and reliability was uh, much better with my So the, these wins are huge for us. And we also started uh, gradually working on the migrating a long tail, uh, smaller databases, services to my rocks. So today I'm going to talk about the backups. So the backup has uh, two parts. The so one is a logical backup, so which is MySQL dump. And the second part is a physical backup, like uh, extra backup uh, side. So the typical use cases of the logical backup is uh, like uh, preparing for disaster recoveries uh, or the schema changes or migrations. So we take logical backup pretty often. So we take logical dump every day for just recovery purposes, and we sometimes do schema changes or data migrations. So uh, these uh, involve a logical backup. And the MySQL dump hyphen hyphen single transaction is a command to take a consistent lead. And uh, internally, it executes several key SQL statements. The most important ones are probably the, these two. The set session transaction isolation level repeatable read. So repeatable me read means the, for the uh, same uh, transactions, uh, it sh uses the same transaction snapshot. So the, all reads are consistent. And start transaction with consistent snapshot, but Facebook, and I think the Pericon has uh, this extension too, but uh, it starts transactions uh, with getting a, a binary log state with consistent state with pretty minimal overhead. So these two, uh, by combining these two statements, it, uh, the following select statements results are uh, consistent for all of the uh, transactions. And uh, bindog state can be uh, acquired with minimal overhead. So internally, uh, it calls a RocksDB's API called get snapshot. And, but the backup transactions may take very long time, so if the uh, tables are very large. So the common issues of the backups is the snapshot duration is, can be uh, hours or even days because of the backups can take a very long time, especially the database is very large, like a terabyte orders. And the penalty of having a long running snapshot can be very huge in the inner DB. But it's, slightly, uh, it's more efficient in MyRox. So let me explain the differences. So here's an example, so starting a transaction with consistent snapshot, and uh, there's a table, uh, but uh, it, the transaction takes a lo very long time to taking uh, backups from other tables. And uh, on the other hand, there is a table, and uh, T, uh, primary key equal one, and uh, value equal zero. And there are some other applications updating that value, uh, incrementing a value uh, equal value plus one for many times, like uh, one times, twice, three times, and updating many times to like uh, one million times. So after one million times, the value becomes one million. But the, this backup client uh, the selecting from T, returning the value equal zero for that primary key because the transaction started before updating the table. So for this select statement work, so InnoDB is extremely expensive, but MyRox is not much expensive. So let me explain the difference. So this is explaining how snapshot uh, works in InnoDB. So InnoDB has the latest record here, but uh, in the Anduin space, so there are all the record changes tracking, tracked. So from uh, original value to zero, to one, two, three, four, five, then uh, blah, 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 up to one million. So in the baby tracks the undo histories in the list. And uh, to get the consistent state, the, this value, then it has to rewind the all list up to uh, the updated times. So in this case, it's one million times, so which is very expensive, and it may take hours to just returning this single value. On the other hand, so MyRox is much more efficient in this case. So in MyRox and LoxDB, so all updates are first uh, coming to um, in-memory structure called MemTable. And uh, 
when starting a transaction, then all the following the sequences, uh, transaction updates to the same keys are tracked and are not removed like in a DB. So it's like, for example, if there are 1,000 entries, but when meme table gets filled, it typically it's a 164 megabyte or 128 megabyte, then another process called a flash happens, then meme table's uh, data was saved as a file called SST file. Then uh, during a flash period, the rock knows that all intermediate sequence numbers are not needed. So rock automatically discards them, then just writing the oldest sequence number and the newest sequence number. So it just stores two entries. And another compaction may happen, uh, as a flash may happen, then the another process called compaction happening to merging several SST files into one. So during these steps, the so all intermediate SST uh, sequence numbers can be omitted away. So this means the only two entries uh, are needed to handle the workloads. So this is much smaller than the one million upgrades in the uh, tracking the one million uh, histories in the DB. So this is much more efficient. So typically, uh, MyRox, so when there is a long running transaction, so it can handle uh, much better than MinoDB. The feature we recently added was a parallel consistent dump uh, from a same table or same database. So uh, start transaction with uh, shared LockStab snapshot is a new syntax on, uh, added in the Facebook MySQL. So this creating a snapshot and starting a transactions, but also it returns a snapshot ID uh, that can be used in later uh, other transactions. And we added another syntax called a start transaction with existing RockSev snapshot, uh, like snapshot IDs. So this uh, syntax is starting a transactions with a specified uh, uh, CKS numbers, snapshot IDs. So this means when executing the, this one, the first one, and the second one in a different sessions, so these two uh, transactions are using the same snapshot. This means all select results are consistent between the two result uh, uh, sessions. So, like, for example, if there is a table one, two, three, so large table, table T1, T2, T3, and uh, starting a transaction with shared snapshot and uh, another two clients, so using the start transaction with existing snapshot with the same snapshot IDs. So all these clients uh, can run in parallel and uh, these results are uh, consistent. So this means we can run the parallel backups, uh, parallel consistent backup, which is a uh, pretty big deal to, uh, if you need a consistent backup from a very large database. So another uh, feature we are planning to add, so we have not uh, supported yet, but uh, we are planning to do is a consistent snapshot so across multiple uh, different instances. Like, as you know, the Facebook runs a very many the sharded MySQL databases, and uh, sometimes we want to take a consistent back, uh, lead from a multiple shards. So normally uh, we couldn't do that with MySQL, but uh, we are planning to add a clock, so global, global uh, logical clock, uh, like a hybrid logical clock like HLC, in the log service sequence number or the binary logs, then starting a transaction uh, with consistent snapshot based on the time. Then the, uh, executing that transactions on the multiple shards, then uh, the result sets are based on that timestamp. Then the, the time is, uh, with implemented properly that these timestamps can be consistent across multiple shards. This means you can take a consistent leads across multiple instances, and you can even take a consistent uh, logical backup from multiple shards. So this is what we are planning to implement uh, in the near future. The physical backup, so physical backup is uh, not a, uh, compared to a logical dump, it's a binary backup. So typical use case at Facebook is uh, taking a, a physical copy to creating a new replica. Like for example, uh, when creating a new data centers, 
then we run the with online backup to create copying the instance to a remote destinations. And yeah. Here's a step by step to take a physical backup online. So Rocksteady has an API called a create checkpoint. So create checkpoint is a Rocksteady API. So when using a checkpoint API, so Rocksteady internally creates a hard link uh, the, of the SSD, the data files, and the light head log, which is a read log, and the manifest, which is a kind of a catalog database, the metadata files, then uh, putting to uh, specified uh, locations. So after creating, uh, calling the checkpoint APIs, then you can manually copy the, these SSD or light head log and manifest files somewhere. This is a, basically a physical backup. So it internally involves uh, flashing mem tables, which is a bit expensive, but it's uh, lightweight enough, so it, it doesn't cause stalls. And the MyRox has a command called the set global, the RocksDB create checkpoint, uh, it calls the directories, to then the, these operations can be automated. Here's a step to restore. So once you take a backup, so you copy the files, then you can uh, copy into a target servers, remote destinations. So after copying the files, then starting the instance. So after starting the instance, then uh, MyRox internally stores the bin log state and the replication state, like a binary log uh, and the replication state, like a master bin log file name or position on GTIDs. So by using these information, so you can com uh, con uh, figure out the, from which GTID position to start replication from a master. So uh, MyRock stores all necessary information of the repli replica and uh, uh, replication, so you can co uh, configure GTIDs based on that. But, uh, sorry, uh, the problem of the, this approach is, so the replication uh, starting the timestamp is the uh, time of the creating a uh, copy. So for example, if there is a one terabyte instance and uh, you take uh, 10 hours to copy the one terabyte instance, then replication will start from a 10 hours old ago. So this means uh, if the master doesn't keep, retain the 10 hours of the binary logs, then replication cannot be started. So because necessary binary logs no longer exist. So we uh, re uh, added a feature called a renewing checkpoints. So by refreshing a checkpoint every intervals, like a 20 minutes or so, then uh, data can be relatively newer. So here is how it works. Like first creating a checkpoint, then starting a, a copy, the SSD files. But uh, when the data file is huge, and only the SSD 0 and 3 could be copied, then creating a checkpoint again, then creating a checkpoint two. Then new files like a five and six were created. Then copying the uh, differential files, like uh, on, in this case, uh, four and five and six are uh, newly created. So starting a copy from four and five, then defeating them. And uh, creating a checkpoint multiple times. And in the last stage, the, uh, copying the all of the SSD files and the light head log and the manifest files. So by repeating these steps, the replication can be started at the last checkpoint. So this means uh, if the last checkpoint finished in the 10 minutes ago, then you can only need to apply the 10 minutes of the uh, binary logs so from the replica. So this means you can catch up replication very quickly. So MyRox hot backup is an open source tool, so embedded is uh, uh, MyRox. So uh, this automates everything, so these steps, because these steps are pretty complicated. So we uh, automate it by the tool, so which is open source. And uh, we are working with Percona to integrate to uh, Excel backup. So uh, it's, it's in work in progress. So these are the uh, basic uh, summary about the how MyRox and the Rocksteady handle the online backup. So MyRox supports online logical backup uh, with lower history length uh, compared to InnerDB because MyRox and Rocksteady can uh, compact all intermediate unnecessary uh, uh, modification histories. This means the history list length can be a lot, a lot smaller than InnerDB. And we have plans uh, to 
support a parallel consistent dump or cross instance consistent uh, sample trees, uh, we are planning to do that. And the physical backup uh, can be taken online as well, and the replication catch up can be shot by renewing checkpoints. Yep. So, thank you. Uh, that's all from my presentation. <laughs> Any questions? Yes. Uh, could you say it again? End of the snapshot? Uh, okay. So the question was uh, if you can take an end of the snapshot. Uh, I think it's doable. So, uh, Rockstable's SSD files are immutable. So uh, SSD files are immutable, but the right head logs are mutable. So it's a bit uh, complicated. But uh, yeah, uh, we, we, don't, we don't use L, uh, LVM, so uh, we have not tested yet, but uh, uh, technically doing a very similar things. So Roxy create checkpoint is uh, creating hard links, so which is <laughs> very close to uh, creating a snapshot of the L L LVM. I, I don't know the, look, if ex there are some existing Roxy users uh, using a LVM snapshot, but uh, I think it's doable. Okay, thank you.